and the daughter of the Afghan envoy has spoken out for the first time since her kidnapping in Islamabad last month in a video posted on her Facebook. Selsila Ali Khil criticized the Pakistani authorities for not even properly carrying out her medical checkups. I was tortured uh, physically and psychologically and uh, then I was uh, brought uh, home and we went uh, immediately to the hospital where the Pakistani police was also present. They started their investigation right from the first minute. They asked uh, repeated questions and I answered them repeatedly. But uh, my expectation at that point, because I was tortured, my expectation was that the doctors would care more about me at that point. Also, there are very important medical checkups in kidnapping cases, uh, because uh, I'm sure uh, the kidnappers have used uh, some substances to make me unconscious, and uh, that have to be checked uh, in the blood within the first six hours or uh, 12 hours or 18 hours. After that, you cannot check for that in the blood or you have to record the first state uh, of the person who was kidnapped, how the clothes look like or where the person in the body is injured. All these medical checkups would directly help the uh, police investigations as well. But I'm not sure what the reason was all these significant uh, checkups after a kidnapping case were not uh, done in a complete manner. Tensions between Pakistan and Afghanistan have increased post the kidnapping incident. The Afghan ambassador was recalled to Kabul soon after over security threats. Islamabad has said that an investigation has found no evidence of an abduction. It claims that there is no case of kidnapping and that the incident is being used as a way to defame Pakistan. Now, it is very important to note that Kabul accuses Islamabad of offering a safe haven to Taliban terrorists waging a major offensive across Afghanistan countryside. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.